So here's step two in what I want to present at the conference. I'm just preparing for this conference, and uh, if you're catching this video online, I'm just recording this to help people because uh, I needed the help when I was learning Go. But this is how to do templates in uh, GoLang Web Dev, and uh, you can find all the code uh, right here at uh, Ghost 11 GoLang Web Dev, and you can take this whole course at Greater Commons, and that course is right here. The Gopher, love the Gopher. All right, so now we're going to look at doing templates, and this is where we left off in the previous video. And so now what I want to do is, uh, and we're missing a lot of steps here, but um, this is kind of the culmination. So if you watch the whole course, you'll get all of those steps. But I'm creating a variable of type template, pointer to a template from package template. This is an HTML template, not text template. And, uh, and then I'm going to init use init and init is going to do some initialization setup at the beginning of my program. I'm going to say TPL is equal to template must. It means this has to succeed or our entire program shuts down. And then we're going to do template parse glob and then we're going to give it a pattern. And that pattern is going to be to look in a folder called templates and just parse, get all the files in there and get them ready to be used. And so I'm going to create that templates folder right here. Now I'm ready to create a template, so I'm going to go to New and just create a file. And the file extension on this can be anything you want, but Go HTML is the standard. And so we'll just put some HTML in there and knock all that out because we don't want to look at that right now. And, uh, and just do hello from PayPal in California because that's where this conference is today. And now that that's all set up, I got to come in here and change this. And instead of IO write string hello world, I'm going to say my TPL variable has a method execute template attached to it. And that takes a, a writer, a string, and data if I'm passing data in. So I'm going to give it my writer. And then the string is what template do I want to execute? I want to execute that one. I'm not passing in any data. So that's that one right there. Now let's run it. Let's run it and see that in action. O2B is where I want to go. Go run main.go. And I've imported IO, but I'm not using it. I wish my editor would clean that up. I could probably figure out a way to get it to do it, but I just haven't taken the time. And now I'll go check that. And hello from PayPal, California. That's using templates in Go. <laughs> That's awesome.